Who knows? Anyway. Top left side, we got a red Terran player fighting for Kaisi Gamis. He is Innovation. Me. If I could go back in time, I would become a League of Legends man himself. Anyway, his opponent here will be in the blue. He's the Protoss man. He is Patience. Is Patience still team? He was at team LP, right? Oh, he's, uh, okay, the good guy Gamus now. A good group of gamers. A good group of gamers here. Good gaming gone great. It's a, it's a funny name, isn't it? Ah, uh, oh well. Good game gaming. <laughs> and if I should actually uh, already having one SCV out on the map but letting another one just kind of run after this probe here a bit interesting patience is oh, just barely not going to get there in time to stop that uh, command center from going down in an optimal uh, time in an optimal place that's a bit unfortunate quite barely missing out on that uh, rotation back around but we'll be able to say that that probe did not lose any HP points, of course. Um, also, back at home, Patience not really falling behind at all either. So, looking pretty solid there as well. Between Innovation and Patience, right? Who who do we expect to win here, really? I, I would personally still say that Innovation... Um, a, a clear favourite in my book, right? I would, I would put it like that. Any day... Any day of the week. Uh, Patience. I mean, he's a really good Protoss player. Don't get me wrong. But, Innovation. He is just still an absolute monstrosity against the Protoss race in my mind's eye. He's been able to get back on the horse again with his timing attacks off of the 2 and 3 bases. He's been able to make them work again, even though there's the shield battery race. He's had to uh, bump his head into a wall a couple of times, but it does seem like he has managed to kind of stabilize and kind of figure out new ways and new uh, kind of runarounds in order to still make it happen, even with the uh, the shield batteries overcharging as they do. Oh, wow, still getting a probe there. I was not expecting that to happen. But, well, I guess that's what you get when you're... Uh, we're putting the probe on the furthest away mineral patch as it's running away. On the other side of the map, we do have two gateway units kind of just denying the mining here. Uh, the Reaper looks like that is going to get... Ooh, no, nope, never mind. That will get away here. Very well placed nade. Mm, I like this Widow Mine. That's kind of shutting down the retreating path of that Stalker. Oh, ho, ho. that was nasty. It looked like the um, the Widowmine was targeting the Adept, but it switched over to the Stalker very quickly, and it it still got the shot off quite quickly as well, so... Interesting stuff. The Adept gets into the main base, so that will be a good scout here for our blue uh, Protoss. It's gonna see that there is, in fact, a Widowmine drop on the way. So, you know, never a good thing to know about. Uh, wait, never not a good thing to know about. It's never really a good thing for Protoss, though, to be fair, but they like to know about it. That is, that is for sure. Stalk is here, coming together with a bit of blink. We'll be able to get themselves a bit of that power spike. Especially as uh, against something such as the Widowmine Medivac. Two Widowmines here, gonna try to get in. No blink just quite yet available. You may have uh, been anticipating it overall. That is still a good amount of uh, probes here going down. Six of them in total. And gets one of the uh, the Widowmines out. Blink still not quite ready yet. And the Medivac will just kind of position itself. Oh my god. How is that not? How is that only vision? I'm sorry. Blizzards? Hello? <laughs> that looks so weird. 
It's so clearly, like, the muddle is so clearly in the, uh, the spudded area, but then, like, obviously, it doesn't work like that. It still has this little dot underneath, of course, where it actually is, and that's always a bit further down. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, that is, that's funny. That's funny. All right, uh, Widowmine there is going to try again. It's very low on HP, so we'll unfortunately not be able to get anything done. Zesta going to be feeling pretty happy. Or uh, Patience is going to be feeling pretty happy about that. Still Zest on my mind. Ooh, good blink forward there. We'll be able to snipe away that siege tank. And then, yeah, there you go. That's how you do it, guys. That is just, you snipe with a blink the siege tank. And then you just kind of waltz out of there. As the Marines and the, uh, the SUVs are trying to catch up with you. That is the way to do it. I think it was earlier this morning we saw Creator kind of trying to do some of this stuff, but... What he was doing, he was like walking in, taking a ton of damage, trying to snipe the siege tank. It took him like six volleys because none of his stalkers really got close on, or on top of it. And then uh, he started blinking away, away from the marines. But yeah, just shutting down any type of siege tank shooting is so much more valuable rather than just kind of getting the, uh, well, keeping the blink there in order to save your retreat, I would say. Because it, it's pretty doable to get a retreat going regardless, right? Because you're just you're being chased with by marines and SCVs, so you're gonna be able to outrun them regardless. Oh, that's a big movement forward. I'm not sure if I like that as much, though. Siege tanks in a very good position. Two siege tanks still just kind of shooting away. Raven there does get sniped. <laughs> uh. All right, patience. Uh, he's definitely doing some good stuff here. He's gonna send in some DTs as well. Immediately does get spotted here by innovation. It seems he does have a scan available. Apparently, it didn't get it spotted. Since he's not scanning. All right, maybe he was just waiting to see if there's more stuff on the. How the hell did he get that bloody war prison? That is rather ridiculous. Yes, one more scan available. We'll not be able to clean up both these locations though, but the missile turret in the natural is about to be ready. So this DT here, uh, just trying to... Wow, that is barely out of vision there. Some some really good knowledge about just the missile turret range overall from patience here. Look at that. That is impressive. Two medivacs is going to float across. Uh, going to try to take out the pylon here. The reinforcement pylon, of course. Causing uh, patients to be able to keep all this pressure up without a war prism. He's got himself a third base also. Third base for innovation. Still in the way. Needs a bit more time. They get rid of the pylon, but the gateway still lives. The stalkers coming back around. Able to protect that area. As patients... Patience is getting himself a couple more gateways. He's going to go the heavy gateway uh, army composition. Which is interesting. Sometimes, to me, it feels like when Brodos aren't quite sure where they're supposed to take the game. They, they kind of go back to this type of gateway style now and again, right? It's like, well, I suppose we could try to just kind of stick onto like Blink Stalkers and Zealots and stuff, right? They're pr they're pretty darn cool, so let's just try to kind of stick around on those units and uh, beat our opponent that way. Not sure if I'm the biggest fan. This um, maybe not being the perfect example game for it because a lot of other stuff happens, right? The Widow Mine drops, the DT harassment, not quite finding. Um, as severe damage as he would like to. A lot of stalkers blinking into the siege tanks right here. Uh, it's also a thing that we saw earlier on in the game, of course. And GG is called patience there. I mean, trying his best, but not quite succeeding. This is game number one here. Innovation going to be sitting there pretty nice with that first W under his belt. Let's take a look. Uh, second game will be Submarine. Submarine. There we go. Getting things started right now. 
It's a small map. A little bit Terran favoured, I would say, because of that. Easier to make those pushes happen. Easier to uh, kind of get your drops across. Timing attacks, all that good stuff, right? Uh, does that remind you of anyone? Well, probably innovation a little bit, right? I'd say so too. I'd say so too. Talking about innovation. Spawning in the top left side here in the red. The Terran boy from Kaisi Gaming. And uh, another one of the, the gamers. The good... The good gamer gamers, they are the blue brothers uh, this time around, being controlled by Mr. Patience. The good gamer gamers. I like the good gamer gamers actually, guys. Gamer gamers. Not just any gamer, I'm a gamer gamer. <laughs> it sounds weird. It does, but at the same time... It sounds like a fun little word, right? Gamer Gamer. Hmm. Gamer Gamer. Like uh, some some sort of... I don't know. A foreign language kind of word that is describing some sort of fruit. The Gamer Gamer tree. Yeah, yes. The Gamer Gamer tree. That is... That is quite good indeed. Patience. Uh, what's Patience up to so far? He's going to put his gateway on the high ground. And not near the ramp anywhere. We do see some Protoss do this type of stuff, right? Just kind of shutting down any type of real way to get through here with uh, with drops. Or Hellions as well. Harder for the Hellions now to, to really just kind of scoot on through here. Immediately get on top of the, uh, the mineral line. Also, makes me worried a little bit sometimes because this also means that if you ever send your probes over here, which is the simple... Well, I guess they always clump up regardless of what you do, but I mean, with a choke like this, that is immediately quite the chunk. And then over here, again, that's going to be quite a chunk. Um, hard to evacuate your probes that way, right? At least upwards. If you have a Hellions coming in from this angle... Uh, through a medevac or something like that. Anyway, enough of that type of uh, just overall mind strategizing about Brodos buildings. I mean, I probably don't know that much about it anyway, right? Not as much as patience, that's for sure. Alright, innovation. Gonna try to set up a bit of a scout here. Gets himself a reasonable bit of information. With that stalker there. Nothing hit really he was looking to find though, of course. Would have loved to see the uh, the pylon count. I mean, I, I guess he already knows now that there's two pylons here. So that is already kind of nice. Adaptful patience once again coming across. Wow, we're going to see more probe kills here from the Reaper coming in. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah, <laughs> that is one. He may get two. Oh, oh, he does. Okay. Well, I don't think he got the scout on the Stargates, though. Yeah, he did not. He really did not. So, that is a bit of a bummer. But, overall, in the end, I wouldn't be too upset about that. You get two pro kills. Eh. No, you win some, you lose some. The Stargate stuff, we'll figure out later. He doesn't mind as much anyway, right? It's like, yeah, so... I know Blink Stalkers and Phoenix, they can Widow Mines, but I just do them anyway because they're still pretty darn good. At least this is this is something uh, he said in an interview once. At least about the Blink Stalkers, right? He kept going on about, yeah, so my opponent kept going Blink Stalkers and that's the counter to Widow Mine Drops. And we're like, so why did you keep going Widow Mine Drops? And he's like, yeah, because, you know, it's still good. <laughs> it's still, still really good. A lot of potential there. He's not wrong. Definitely not wrong about that. Like that widow mine position. It's not medevac on the way just quite yet. Interesting. Gonna go for the uh, the Viking cyclone here. Suppose he, he figured out that it was in fact a Stargate. Yeah, he did. Uh, must have been the Hellion running into the main base, huh? Yeah, I, I guess that would do it for you. Guess that would do it for you. Alright, so third base here for Innovation actually going to be put down first. Afterwards, Patience also coming across here. Going to grab himself a third base as well. 
little bit behind, but still had a good timing. Reasonable uh, moment to take it, right? Nothing too bad. Still has a place to put probes uh, up until a moment. Find the button to make this work with. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't forget now. Next time I accidentally press that button. Alright, quite a couple of phoenixes here. Remember, there's that widow mine still on the ground, hidden underneath the, uh, the SUVs. So far, patience not getting close enough to really fall for that sneaky old trick. It's surprised actually he got that close without getting hit there, but you know, if it works, it works. <laughs> Innovation also a bit surprised. It's like, you know what? Screw it. If that doesn't work, we'll just put it here. Observer quite close by as well. I actually start to see it immediately there. Could be a nice pick off there for the Phoenixes, yeah. Instantly rotates around. We'll be just like, all right, well, let me pick that up for you. No problem. You're welcome. A free Ferris ride provided by the uh, Phoenix is that to the Widow Mine. And we have patience going for the Colossi Way. Has the extended thermal launch coming up and the, uh, the Colossus as well, of course. It would be incredibly weird if you just get extended tour melons without any Colossus. I'm certain it happened at least once, right? It must have happened at least once in professional StarCraft. So if we're getting a bit of cold feet. Nice catch on the mule there. That was a fairly fresh one, but we'll lose a Phoenix for the price of it. Is this life? No, these are the AX files. So these are uh, games from... Um, into the Alpha X events that never got casted in English before. It's only broadcasted in Korean, so. Not live, though. Alright, picking up those uh, little Marines running around. We have an armory on the way for innovation. So he already got his plus one, plus one. Yes, he did. So that is why. He's got a reasonable amount of Vikings. That should help out as, against those uh, against those two Colossi here. As well as the Phoenixes. The Phoenixes make it really difficult for the, for the Vikings really to get those shots off though, of course. I mean, the Phoenixes love to just be a nuisance. Just fly into the Terran army. Tank all that damage. The innovation actually backing up a little bit before committing to any type of attack there. We'll see that there is uh, ambition for a fourth base there for patience though. As we are still just on... Yeah, no fourth uh, base here on the way yet for innovation. Okay, there we go. Does get it set up shop right now. Does he have a raven? He does not have a raven. Okay. That's why there's still so many uh, observers everywhere, right? On these common locations. That's one of the main reasons I, I always uh, would suggest getting a raven. To myself, most of the time. When I do play the occasional bit of Terran. Um, Alright, two disruptors coming out. Looking to join that party of the Protoss army. And overall I like I like patience positioning here, right? I think I think his tech tree is being uh, filled out a bit quicker than that of innovation. Is starting to get assembled to uh, quite a reasonable force, even though the army supply is still in favor for innovation here. I think patience will ultimately have a bit of a stronger army here. If they keep going to 200 200 supply with this type of uh, production. We'd like to see maybe a couple of Liberators also mixed in. Maybe that's the one thing I'm really missing here. Get the Liberators um, ranged as well. 
the stim here to really try and hammer down that uh, nexus. So that nexus getting uh, getting a bit hurt, but not much else. I think he could have gotten it with a stim, maybe. Maybe he could have gotten the cancel there, right? Right, there's that absolutely terrifying uh, Protoss army. How many Vikings? Seven Vikings only. We still have Phoenixes out as well. It's only four of them remaining, but... I mean, four Phoenixes, that takes a long time to, to kill four of these Vikings. I suppose if we get good uh, EMPs on top of those units, that's going to make things a lot easier. This is a great engagement here for Innovation, actually. I'm not sure Patience uh, probably just completely caught unaware that this army was moving in. That disruptor shot absolutely wonderfully placed. Getting quite a lot of kills right there. That is one of the worst things about Innovation, in a sense, right? The late game versus, uh, versus Protoss. It's hard to see innovation in late game TVP and not take a massive disruptor shot somewhere at some point in time. Um, his splitting against Bane is one of the best. Absolutely insane. And that's Ken. That is unfortunate as well. But yeah, splitting against disruptors, eh, not really his forte, right? Oh my god, again taking just so much damage right there. Gonna lose more now. He's just gonna back up right now. Probably a good choice. Zealots will be t aiming towards, I assume, is going to be the reinforcements line. Um, don't think they're gonna be able to do too much here. Well placed missile turret there, actually. Really uh, <laughs> providing quite a bit of defense. Together with those uh, command centers in production. Colossi and Disruptors with uh, the gateway forces coming in from the top side. Will this still be enough here for innovation? Taking a couple of chunks of army uh, worth of damage. Another Nexus being made on the bottom side. Yeah, full. Oh, that's going to be another big one. More disruptor shots still coming in. Okay, manages to dodge those, but the way he dodges them really is by just sending absolutely everything backwards and. Makes it quite difficult to, to move forwards, of course, and into the opposing army. Here we go. Now, finally being able to obtain some real um, finishing blows onto those Protoss forces. More Zealots running in this time around. Not that many Marines around to help out this situation. The Ghosts are trying their best, but that's not going to help. Marines stimming down the ramp of the main base, but... Not quite being able to finish off those zealots. Okay, there we go. We'll be able to now. As more and more forces are coming in. We may have another fight here. This is a pretty good oh, location for innovation to fight. But again, taking quite a bit of damage there from that uh, disruptor shot. I, I believe that was at least three marauders, maybe four. And that is a very clean, nice damage here that Patience is managing to find again and again. I'm starting to wonder if this is just a really good map for Disruptors overall because there, there's just ramps everywhere, right? This is just... Uh, sometimes I like to compare this map to like a uh, Settlers of Catan board where there's just continuous little flanks and little path pathways uh, connecting each node. Right now we are seeing innovation making some headway though. I mean, still having to be absolutely careful for those uh, for those disruptor shots. Still taking a bit more damage than he should, in my opinion. But he's got the liberators now to kind of zone them away slightly, just waiting for the next step in this army composition. Of course, the uh, liberator range, more of the liberators to come in again. Another disruptor shot there, connecting. Nice to dodge that time around. Is Patience just overextending with his army? No, he's not. He's just baiting. Look at that. That is one hell of a cluster of body parts. Blown up by the Disruptors once again. More Nexus is coming in as well as uh, Patience is just taking control of the entire side of the map. And Innovation slacking behind with two bases in total. Having difficulty replenishing all those forces that are continuously being harassed and... 
shut down by the disruptors here. Look at that. He's trying to make somewhat of an engagement happen. And he's just not able to. These disruptors are relentlessly just denying absolutely anything uh, moving forwards. There we go. Some really good connections there, actually, from uh, from our Terran. Finding himself the opportunity to uh, to get a couple of workers killed off as well. There we go. That's a Liberator actually doing all that work. Uh, but yeah, that was a nutty bit of damage right there on top of the Protoss army. So many disruptors suddenly going to get targeted down. Innovation looking to keep pushing forwards. A little bit overstimmed perhaps. So these zealots finding a nice opportunity to just hunt down the low HP marines. But there's still a lot of them. Will this be enough here for innovation? Is he going to make this happen? Or is there just too much Protoss still? I think the Protoss will still be able to hold their own. Though the Zealots are gone once again. And now there's just Marauders versus Starkers. The Colossus, the last one as well, falls down. I thought those Zealots were going to be able to achieve some sort of victory here. But not quite being able to do so. DTs now being warped in. Some last ditch efforts here. Trying to get something sorted. We have Colossus coming in, but again, right, those Viking numbers, they are still doing quite a reasonable job at getting rid of those. Another base here will fall for patience, at least, well, I say another one, this one kind of surviving here, <laughs> which is not something you, you usually see with a Terran army. A lot of probes getting destroyed, though. There it is, there's that Nexus kill right now. Uh, patience, patience, only 41 army supply, now starting up the, um, disruptor numbers once again. I think that is just always going to be the better choice against innovation. It's never quite that well prepared against that type of stuff. Zealots are going to try to get the planetary fortress. The repair is there, but it's just not going to be enough. The base does fall. There is still an orbital that can take over the mining immediately so not the biggest blow of um, of innovation's economy who well, has also been able to acquire another base here in the 12 o'clock it's this bottom left side though of course that is miraculously still in patience grip um so yeah i wonder if that is going to stay that way for much longer if, or if innovation's planning to uh, to really start striking hard there here we go. Good hits on those EMPs once again. We'll be able to get rid of all those zealots. Um, ooh, and as we're trying to see what's happening there, suddenly another move out from Patience here. Gonna try to get rid of that uh, orbital. Shut down the mining here now. Already a bit out of minerals regardless, but also gives just more maneuverability here for Patience, I would say. Oh, innovation though. Coming in with a bit of an uh, attack on the 6 o'clock as it's 12 o'clock. Also getting a vaporized. Good effort there by Patience. He only got two disruptors in total here. So has one more shot remaining. And that disruptor that does have it uh, remaining does get picked off right there. At least I thought it did. Maybe I thought it did. And maybe it did get shot down at some other time. Uh, who knows? Um, here we go. Innovation suddenly finding a lot of just great opportunities. And Patience has run dry of minerals himself. He had full control over uh, multiple bases. And Innovation with a nice counter attack. Finding all those bases uh, quite easy to destroy. We'll start moving in closer and closer to the final bit of damage necessary to uh, clean up the rest of this game. I would say has some marauders here with uh, also an EMP ghost. There it is. All he has to do really is shut down this base, right? You would assume. There's nothing else really mining uh, close by here for patience. Though I suppose the same can be said for innovation. And there it is. GG is called. No more army supply remains. Patience steps out. And uh, Innovation taking a victory there, which I did not assume he would anymore. Okay. Okay, that brings us into game number three with um, Innovation. I think a bit of a lead, right? Lag up here. Putting himself on two victories straight off the bat. Also putting himself on the uh, match point. The previous time, the last best of five we saw... 
Uh, didn't end well for Zest, so... Is it going to be a similar story here for our Rodents player, or... Will he be able to start a potential comeback here? In the top left side, we got a red Terran player fighting for the Kaisi Gamers Innovation. Quite a bit of chatter going on. The bottom right side, the blue Brodos fighting for the good game gaming. <laughs> I did it. Patience. Perfect. Perfect. Still chatting along here. These guys really having a good time at it, it seems. Maybe Patience just asking, like, how the hell are you beating me this hard? And how do I beat you? And Innovation's like, well... I don't think you will. And Patience like, well, that just seems unfair. I should be able to. And the patient's like, well, why don't you try just being better at the video game? And Peyton, well, I'm not, I'm not sure. If, I'm paraphrasing here, but that, fairly certain that's kind of the gist of it. And then over here, Patience talking about Innovation's mother, I think. And then Innovation's like, uh, you can't talk about her that way. And then he, he goes on about. Uh, Patient's grandmother? That's a bit disgusting. I'm not sure what he's... But anyway, uh, yeah, and then Patient's kind of giving a rebuttal there. And, uh, calling him a dog and... Well, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, a bit paraphrasing there, but I'm fairly certain that is, that's the gist of it. It's the overall gist of it. It's very harsh language between the two. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Reactor on the barracks. Innovation. Let's see if he tries to get himself a quick uh, third command center here. Or what he's really up to. Usually, uh, Innovation, the player that would like to try and keep games a little bit shorter on the shorter side. I mean, we saw quite the bit of uh, macro game there from him. Game number two, of course, but... It's still not really his forte, right? It's not where he finds his strength. It's not where he puts in the most uh, hours of practice overall. Um, as you can see, right? Still has a lot of uh, practice to do overall against those disruptors and stuff. I don't think he'll ever be the uh, the Clem that uh, we know and love. That is just incapable of taking any damage from disruptors. Just not really within, uh, within the vocabulary of, uh, of innovation but you know what this macro absolutely insane so sometimes it doesn't even matter because you know he's just making more stuff this has the units to replace it with One single Hell in here does manage to get well. Already got uh, three probes. Gonna get another one. Ooh, missing the shot there on the final hit. Uh, doesn't quite get it. Hallucinated Oracle here, kind of causing a stir. Not too much of a stir. Looks like innovation. So we uh, like, all right, well, that's a fake, clearly. Not gonna be too bothered. Two Hellions here into the main base. Bit surprised that Sentry is walking away. Oh, doesn't have an energy. Uh, the energy for a force field, that is why. So this would be a pretty good force field overall, right? But not quite doing uh, doing that, obviously. Not having a force field, so makes sense you don't. Uh, anyway, five more kills. That brings the total to eight probes for four Hellions. It's not bad, right? It's not bad at, in any stretch of the imagination. I think it's uh, relatively okay, in fact. Is it good enough? <laughs> Is it good enough? Hmm...
Work account still a bit in favor here for patience, but not by a large margin. I think that was all uh, all right there for innovation. Of course, he also gets the scouting information with those aliens, which is also quite essential. This better be good. So good stuff. Third base here, this time around, will be made earlier for patience instead of for, for innovation. So I'm starting to wonder what are we going to see here from innovation. We have the plus one and steam pack uh, kind of lining up quite nicely there. Almost immediately makes me want to think about, is this going to be a two base attack? Not entirely certain, of course, but there's a possibility there. I'm a bit surprised if you were to go for a two base attack, though, that you would pick a map like Romanticide. <laughs> it is one of the hardest places to make a two base attack work on. As the third base is just so easy to defend together with the natural, right? You know, just have this one ramp and then it takes a ridiculous amount of time to manage your way around this area. Or well, you're going to have to uh, get rid of those mineral patches right there that are blocking your way through. All right, anyway, two siege tanks here at the forefront. Going to try to put one a little bit closer. Patience. Uh, yeah, well, he's, uh, he's not losing any of these stalkers, right? He's getting information as well. Figuring out the army composition. Figuring out when uh, innovation is moving out. If he actually stands in front of that front door, of course. Which he, he really isn't, so... Not entirely certain what innovation is doing. Oh, does this observer see? Ah, uh, yeah, it sees. It saw there for a moment. The probe's gonna see anyway. There we go. Patience. What's the response here? Uh, the stalk is in the main base. That's a good call. Immediately on top of these SUVs. There we go. Not sure what that blink was for, but... <laughs> I mean, he gets the stalkers out of there as well to uh, to try and prep the defense. He's got a pretty good shot at defending this, I would say. Although that's a lot of siege tanks. Let's see those force shields. Pretty good, pretty good. No interference matrix there. The, the Raven actually being sniped out by those stalkers. Very nicely done. And yeah, I don't I don't see innovation really pushing them through here. It's such a tight choke point overall, and then. It just kind of sticks around that same ballpark. Although Patience is moving further and further backwards. May give an opportunity for these siege tanks to really put themselves in a, a, quite the nasty location. It's going to try to fake a drop. There's already a good amount of stalkers there anyway. I think, I think Patience may have figured it out. Moving closer and closer to the... Buildings and infrastructure here. There we go. Getting himself uh, already rid of some of the cannons. Shoot battery there. That's a lot of siege tanks. That's six siege tanks that one zealot does manage to get on top of the bio, though, and a lot of friendly fire does occur. Uh, Patience deciding to just kind of sacrifice this base is going to grab himself another nexus, I would assume. It's just like, all right, well, that's just too many siege tanks for me to walk into right now. I'm going to have to give up on that location. And, I mean, to be fair, um, the third base for innovation on location just quite yet. Ooh, this is a good interception. That is a great interception. Gets himself a medevac. Gets himself a tank as well. Big drop into the main base, though. That could cause quite a bit of trouble. Forge in disarray as well. Losing a bit of its HP. There we are. There's the Zealot attack moving in. Stocks on the backside as well. And Immortal really doing a bit of number on those siege tank. The Colossi as well helping out a ton against the Marines here. And that is a battle cleaned up right now. Patience will be able to, uh, to take victory in that battle right there. But the battle is not quite over just yet. Of course, the war continues. These uh, units that were evacuated from that location... Still ready to try and group up with the rest. Innovation deciding against moving out on that location, though. So, backing up right now. Deciding to play it safe. I'm not sure if I like that idea overall. I, I mean, he had quite a significant army supply lead. 
Does he know about that other third base? Though? Yeah, he does know about this, so... I mean, he saw it in production right there, so he knows how quickly it was being created as well. We have a fourth base starting in production here, maybe over here as well. It comes down to what, what patience wants, I suppose. Maybe he's going to get himself two bases. I doubt it, though. I like, I love this stuff, though. I, from patience, just kind of mo moving around, finding those uh, spotters marines. That's some great stuff overall, isn't it? Fourth base does get spotted as Innovation decides, you know what, alright, let me start moving out again. He has more than double the army supply of, uh, of patience here, so he's got a real good opportunity to make something happen right now. Gonna bring absolutely everything back, come the SEV as well. This could be the end times for patience, he needs to buy himself as much time as possible or a great disruptor shots. All right, that is, that's reasonable. Needs a bit more, though, of course, than that. Getting one of those siege tanks, though, is absolutely massive. That's a uh, one-fourth of the overall siege tank firepower available at this moment in time. This Nexus, again, getting evacuated patience. I mean, I know it's in his name, but he is being very, very patient. Needs to stop these probes from moving out, though. Or not. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, he's fine again with this. Gets another good disruptor shot. Gotta be careful. Mind the siege tank. Another siege tank comes in to replace his fallen brother. And now the bio units will be able to get on top of the, uh, the structures here. That's nah, gonna get taken out. Patience though. Seeing all those SEVs being pulled and we'll just uh, be absolutely perfectly fine with just sacrificing those bases. Gonna reclaim them elsewhere. And uh, forcing that command center I suppose elsewhere as well. Single DT there, kind of running amok. Oh, the siege tank's not sieged up. There we go. Another one does get broken down. We need another scan. There is another scan. He's going to run out of scans eventually, right? You would assume so. Or oh, disruptors. Oh, that is such a massive disruptor shot. That is ridiculous. Absolutely gorgeous right there from Patience. That is, uh, is going to bring him uh, back into this game, I'd say. Even though it looked like the army supply is just nowhere near where it needed to be. A bit surprised he sent down a mule to, to harvest out a piece of the, of the wall here, but I suppose it works. Colossi kind of holding the front door here against those, uh, against those marines. Got to be careful of the Vikings though, of course you don't want to lose the Colossi. A strange battle here going on. Is he just going to sacrifice another Nexus? I mean, he very well could. He's got Zealots now across the map as well. He's dealing quite nicely with this. More overall absolute patience coming out of patience. It's in the name, but I love it when he's actually sticking to it. That uh, Archon, that is a bummer. <laughs> Whoa, that's low. Another disruptor shot. Managing to land a hit. This Nexus though, I'm not sure if Innovation is aware of it. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, definitely not the case. Zealot's now on the natural as well. Even furthering the uh, all-in. Even as more of an all-in. As Patience is still just taking more bases on the other side here. Not looking to run dry on resources anytime soon. He still has a thousand minerals right now. I mean, if you add all of that together in Zealots, I would say just a move into this army right now. Uh, not like that, though. <laughs> do, do bring all your units, please. Alright. In we go. The siege tanks on siege. Bit disjointed with the rest of the army as well. So a lot of SEVs going down. Looking forward, trying to snipe away at the air army. The less Vikings up in the sky, the easier it will be for those Colossi to kind of win the battle here, of course. And protect the disruptors as well. Here we go, siege tanks once again. On the sieging, trying to get closer and closer. Alright, here we go, that's the committal. The zealots marching forward. The disruptors getting some really clean hits right there. And there's the bank of minerals coming into play as well. Patience once again, moving in with a lot more extra warped in zealots. And uh, gets himself a point on the board here now because of this. So... 
Well played indeed, Patience. Bringing himself a bit closer to a potential tied up series here. And a potential ace match, but still needs to take another victory off of Innovation. Innovation. I think that is Innovation's map pick. It will be Giganatha. Giganatha, our uh, fourth map. Our fourth map in the second best of five. Of course, after this, we'll have the winner of this best of five go up in a best of seven versus Solar as well. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. Which one of these players will get one step closer? I suppose if Innovation gets one step closer, he's already arrived, right? He is there. He will be able to get that best of seven going. Uh, but, of course, Patience on the other side uh, may, may be looking out, uh, well, maybe looking forward to getting himself at best of seven as well here. A bit more so than not having the best of seven, of course. <laughs> we assume there's more money in it. So, anyway, there you go. Uh, innovation, Kaisi Gaming. And patience from the good game gaming So earlier, I think it was like a uh, previous weekend, I got myself a pull up bar. And the pull up bar helping me out quite a bit here, actually. Uh, at first, I couldn't do a single one, but already, I feel like I can do about five right now. Maybe some technique was unlocked here. It's very interesting how quickly you can make that progression. Still anticipating it. But then again, I wasn't anticipating not being able to do one either, so. Anyway. A life inside of the. Or a look inside of the life of Kozen. A life inside of the look of Kozen. There you go. sense the name mispronouncing or miswording a sentence is my game reaper on the prowl trying to find that probe still we'll not be able to find it but it's gonna of course get a pretty reasonable scout here no stalker on the field just quite yet he's playing it safe though doesn't want to just run in on that ramp or the high ground area i suppose interesting very interesting. All right. I mean, if you go in right now, you're not likely to see any type of tech structure anyway, right? So, you need to wait a little bit. This could be a good moment, though. I suppose he sees the pylon over here already, right? So, that's the second pylon, clearly, because there's nothing else around. And that is already giving him a bit of an indicator that there's most likely nothing being proxied. But he's still going to double check as well. Oh, tech lab near the starport. Hmm. Most likely will be for the Raven here, I would assume. We do know that Innovation loves himself a bit of Raven play. What are we getting here? Assume a reactor, right? Just so you can fly this back around again pretty soon. Or you could start making widow mines, single production widow mines. Oh, the Reaper does get inside of the main base. We'll be able to spot that, um, that Twilight Council here. Sees that it is the Blink. So now that he knows that it's Blink, you should not go for widow mines here. Hallucinated Oracle kind of getting a similar scout as well. And we have Siege Tanks coming up for Innovation. Looks like that was already the plan, though, to be fair. Already was producing that uh, tech lab on top of his factory. And it's a good call because, the, of course, you're going to need those Siege Tanks against the Blink Stalkers. Over here is going to be a good position with this wall that he's already creating. 
He's setting up these buildings as well to kind of provide some cover for a siege tank potentially here as well. So, good stuff. Good stuff overall here for innovation. Um, patience. Patience not committing to a big attack with the Stalkers, though. It seems just on the two gates so far. We'll be getting himself a third base as well. And just tacking up to the robotics bay here. It's going to tack up ever so slightly. See already at the robo facility. Going to be interested to see whether or not he's uh, immediately going to go into the Colossi or Disruptors, right? I mean, we've seen those Disruptors just continuously being super effective against Innovation every single game. Now, to be fair, it it just doesn't matter because this macro is just insane. It's on another level entirely. But still, right, it, they, they managed to get great connections. And I mean, if you just manage to get enough good connections... That should give you the victory as a Protoss, right? Unless, unless if you're not doing the other parts of the game as good I as well at the same time. Oh well. That's the more gateways. Extended thermal lance and a bit of charge. I think the Colossi are one of the better openings overall for the Brodels players at the moment. Right? Disruptors just a bit too uh, too loose with the shooting if there's not that massive of a Terran army. It's too easy for them to get the splits and such perfectly. So you want to wait a little bit for the Disruptors. Going for the High Templar as well. I mean, it's just, it's just a, you know, you get the one shot off. It can be great. It can absolutely be horrendous though. And then you know, just kind of stranded that. It could also like helping out a bit more so with these types of situations. Good floor shields. Uh, we'll be able to deny the advancement of the Terran army that would love to engage right now with that interference matrix, of course, going on. Uh, double Manifex towards the main base. No response just quite yet from patients. We'll have to send those stalkers across. That's going to be a little while before he actually gets there. Already the shield battery goes down. And down goes a pylon as well. These Metafax, they will not be able to do anything else. On the front side, we're not seeing that much either. He's going to target down uh, the Stalkers, I suppose, right? Get whatever he can. Ooh, a big attack right now in the middle as well. The Siege Tank's in a wonderful position. Widowmind's also going to make life quite difficult here for our Blue Protoss player. He uh, is losing infrastructure right now. Is this going to be too much? The Seed Sank's shooting down the Stalkers. The Stalkers actually blinking right on top of the Widowmine. So, taking an insane amount of damage. The Raven's still there. Another interference matrix on the right side. A single Marauder. Look at that. A single Marauder trying to take on two Colossi and two Stalkers. Uh, not the best way to do things, but uh, it looks like it is going to be working out regardless because the damage. That is being inflicted upon patients right now is insurmountable. It is uh, quite the <laughs> quite the point of no return here. I feel like for patients who is going to lose the robo bait as well, and that is pretty much everything. He oh no, actually no, he's going to be able to save it. But again, more widow mines there with some great shots. Twenty probes are down. He's still got marines and marauders in the main base as well. Patience really needs to find a way to stabilize this as quickly as possible or else this is never going to turn into his uh, Into his favor again. He will not be able to recover Little minds need to get themselves into the ground Ooh, All right, there we go. Let's get one of the Colossus needs to get the other one as well It's a little bit too far with the mines in the ground once more I mean innovation, he doesn't have to kill his opponent right here, right now, but we'd be pretty good, right? We'd still be pretty good. Still making another base behind this. He's getting more reinforcements for armory. He's getting ready for a transition as well. But as long as he's doing all right with the trading here, I mean, there's no point for him to leave. And patience, patience taps on out of that. That's going to put innovation on three points. 
and bring him into the best of seven together with Solar.